What's up guys, Casey here, back with the scent house today. We are presenting the Moresque collection, the top selection out of the all of the Moresques. Um, we're gonna be discussing today with my lovely friend, Matthew, the lady killer. Oh, thank you. How, is, uh, how are you? Good, good to good. see you again. Pleasure, thank excited you. to Thank you for, for coming. So this is how most of the Moresques uh, come in this kind of packaging and they are usually in a sealed cellophane. They come in a very beautiful packaging, though uh, this is for the art collection, Sahara Blue. The black collection will come in a black or the white is gonna come uh, in the white box and so on and so forth according to each of the collection um, that we're gonna present accordingly. So first we're gonna have the, I think this might be the most popular uh, Morris, great. I think you I also agree. mentioned that definitely, this was definitely. one that you had seen previously before. Most popular. Yeah, and then so this is Sahara Blue. So we're gonna go and try this out. So this one is compared to Aventis, but you know me and Matthew were previously talking about how uh, we have tried this before, and it isn't really doesn't give you really like a any kind of. I don't really. I don't know, do you, do you, I don't see it. I really don't see the comparison between this and uh, Aventus. Not at all. It's, uh, it's a much more sophisticated kind of smell, I would say. Citrusy, still, you know, we were discussing, it has that pineapple note, but you were mentioning also some details in regards to- As far as the direction, they both take a different direction yeah. at the end. The dry down is different, but uh, I don't see any similarity as far as the pineapple. Right. Versus the Adventist. Right, right. And not even a smoky bench. Right. So it's really it's totally different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From my viewpoint. Right. Yes. So the next one is going to be um, Rand. So it's going to be part of the black and white collection. This is actually one of the top sellers of the uh, black and white collection. It really it's like such a beautiful, clean, gentlemanly slight uh, musk maybe some oud in there like it's fresh you know at the top fresh versatile this one is very light it's uh, clean it goes a long way it, do you do you i don't know do you smell any floral notes in there i it feel like have, they might have, it like, does have what is it like a lavender lavender maybe? very soft yeah yeah it's that. very 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 clean it's actually one of the uh, top sellers from the black as i mentioned black and white collection so I can see this being used in many different settings, um, and it's it's truly phenomenal. It's 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 a clean gentleman's kind of fragrance, I would say, right? Definitely, most definitely. So the next one we're gonna be trying out is gonna be Tamima. So this is a more kind of a more sweet fragrance. Uh, I think it's a little more geared towards ladies, but I'm not sure. So we're gonna be getting Matthew's opinion on this as well to see. But the it's like a subtle sweetness. It's like really smooth. There is a powderedness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's and, like and a powder. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's iris. iris that's what. There's that's an what, iris note. In yeah, there. that's what I was thinking. I was trying to figure out what was the note, but that's what it is. Like, it's not too powdery though. You see? It's no, like, not at all. But it has some light sweetness, sweetness as well. It's almost similar to Esmalda from. Naso right. the Raza. Oh, oh Italy, yeah, yeah, from, the Naso de, de Raza, yeah, from yeah. Italy. It has yeah, because that. you mentioned that was also a little sweet. Yeah, yeah sweet and, and I was not in there. But this is like so nice. Very powdery. You know, very Would you call it like a lady's fragrance? Most definitely. Really? It is, it is. Oh, no way. Yes. I feel like I would wear this. It's would you wear this? It's unisex. Would you wear this? I will, I will. Yeah? I will. Def, most definitely. Because you know, you, you and I, we wear kind of like all kinds of fragrance. So, yes. but, but this, this is, one. it leans more feminine. I will. Not definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think it does lean more feminine, as you said, because it's like kind of has that like you know softness to it. It's like a kind of a tender fragrance, if yes. you can kind of describe it that way. But in the same sense that you know, it's okay to you know Play have that. You know, yes, it's definitely. like you, it's okay to have uh, to try that. So yeah. it's not a not a big deal. Yes. The next fragrance we have is by the Gold Collection of Moresque, which is Fiamma. It's, look at this gold collection. It's like detail. Attention yeah, to detail. you know, it's like like this is like a statement piece in very your nice. bathroom. You know, like on very your vanity. As a collector. Yeah. It's very nice. Ooh. This is you're gonna you're gonna smell some familiarity with some fragrance that you've smelled before. 
guys are rose. And yeah, the rose. Rose, old, but it's not oldy, stinky rose. It's not like, no, you know, it's not smacking face, you in the face. It's very soft. Really good. It's good. Yeah. I know. That, like, I, I, I kind of got surprised because I was expecting, you know, part of, not all of the, I'm not a big fan of the gold, or gold collection. In my opinion, you know, it's like more for, it's pretty bold. So, you know, some of the sm smell may be not for everyone. But Fiamma, this one is like this one is really nice. I would say Whoa. starting in September, all the way to exactly to April when it's really cold outside and you get a like you said a scarf and it's oh you know that's such a good idea yeah. like it's, the scarf that's it's, it's really for the winter but it's not as a bold oud on the background it's exactly really soft it's unisex like, also. yeah you know like it's unisex oh. it's unisex. This yeah. is so like class. You know, there's a is there a honey note in there? Do you think? It does have the honey. Yes. It's like an amber honey. It's yeah. wow. It's such a good feeling, you right? Like, you like that? Right? It's like it's like addictive. It, it is. Like yeah. it's like it keeps. It's like it kind of like you know. It wants you. It says come, come. You know. It's like a, that remind me of amber wood. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Roger. Yeah. So the next one that we're going to be trying out is part of the secret collection. So this is actually Royal from the secret collection of Moresque and actually is one of the top sellers as well. That's I guess that explains why it's a staff pick. This is the first time I'm smelling this. You know, kind of reminds me of... Uh, hold, your, hold your thought. Yeah, I, I want to see. Uh, let, let's see what, you, what you're going to... if we're in the same place. There's a citric note in there. Kind of sweet, fruity. Fruity. Let me know. What is it? What does it remind you of? Go ahead. What does this remind you of? No, I, I cannot record it. You, you want me to tell you? Let me know. It's either Kajal Lamar with pineapple, right? With the pineapple. Or Kirke. KK, yes, the white bottle. Yeah. Yes. No, no, the 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 gold bottle, no. gold and black bottle. Now they. Now you're gonna see it. Yeah, I see the pineapple. Notes yeah, yeah, yeah the fruity, really the fruity, fruity top. But I think this is more, uh, less sweet. Than it's more fruity. Like it's not in the. It's like, how can I say? It? It's like. Uh, Let's try it again. It's very nice. But subtle. Yeah. It's exactly. A, it's a subtle note. So for the next Mores that we have, we'll be trying also another of the secret collection. And this is going to be Seta. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> it keeps me wanting to smell it more. You know, it's like, addic this is another addictive one. I don't know, it's not like, yeah, you see, it's like, this is also, you know, like, as you said, the scarf. This is like, yeah, you it's just, cleaner. Yeah, oh, it is cleaner than the other one. It's a soft, soft one, no, it's Yes, it's yes, soft. very soft though. It's yeah. not like Baccarat where it's like, you know, punches you in the face. No, this no. is like really like smooth and subtle, like an amber and a saffron, I would say. And they are soft. And very it's kind soft. of sweet, like sweet. it's very, very slight sweetness to it. No, this is very floral, but it's just floral, not as, um, 440 from uh, right, right, from right, right. Kajan, but it's very soft. It's a soft tone. The women can wear it, but if you pass by, you can smell that. It's I can definitely nice. see this uh, man wearing it, like, definitely. You know what? I didn't also smell the floral until it's like lingering now. It's coming from your side, but right. I get that kind of slight rosiness too. I get the rose, the amber, uh, there's like some kind of as I mentioned, very slight undertone of sweetness. It seems there's kind of a saffron, which kind of makes it a little addictive. But it's sophisticated. It's very dressy. Very dressy. I would say like you, you. It's very classy. You would need a classy. scarf. You need like an overcoat. Yes. This like if you're a man or if you're a lady, you know, you can also have the same kind of attire for sure. It's the same for the whole. The, yeah. The whole line is very classy, very conservative, very uh, upscale. Yeah, sophisticated. Exactly. It's a, yeah, Moresque is very complex in, in the way they make their fragrances, truly more um, artistic, but also very, very complex and very, 
different. Yes, indeed. So overall, Moesk, I think we've been very successful with all of these staff picks that we've had. I think Matthew and I can both say that they are very, very nice fragrances that most people can use in most settings. However, they do lean more a little towards the, you know, sophisticated and, you know, chic and classy side. But that reflects on also the price point of the fragrances that kind of fall into play. You know, they are very expensive fragrances. Yeah. So you kind of want to use them in, for more special occasions or maybe um, Black some people point. else. Yeah, maybe it was some kind of formal setting or any kind of special day. Maybe also some people, they like to feel special every day. Black so if that's the case, this fragrance is definitely, this fragrance collection is definitely the collection that may make you feel that way. That's all that we have for the Moresque line of staff pick from the Max Aroma team. And I would like to thank Matthew for joining us today. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time for the next review of the fragrances from the Scent House. Please like, comment and subscribe.